Why the Bible says in 1 Timothy 2.5, there's one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. We can't go directly to God. Why? Because of our sins. Isaiah was the greatest writing prophet in Israel in chapter 59, 1 and 2. God said, Behold, the Lord's hand is not short, that he cannot save you from your sins. Nor is his ear heavy that he cannot hear your prayers. But your iniquities have separated you from your God. And your sins have hidden his face from you so that he will not hear your prayers. I know Muslims pray five times a day. God doesn't hear your prayers. Your sins separate you from God. I prayed every night. I was brought up in a big, big Christian religion. Great mother and father. I prayed every night before I went to bed. God did not hear my prayers. Because my sins separate me from God. He's the mediator. Jesus Christ, you can't go directly to God. He's a holy God. 1 Timothy 6.16, Paul told Timothy, God alone has immortality, dwelling in unapproachable light, who no one has seen or can see, to be honor and everlasting power. Amen. You know, if we saw God in this life, we would die from His holiness. He's so pure and holy. But the Bible says that in Jeremiah 17, 9 and 10, we have a deceitfully wicked heart. God is pure and holy. But the Bible says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord, search the hearts. I test the minds, even to give to everyone according to their work, according to the fruit of their doings. God says I have a deceitfully wicked heart. You might think I'm a pretty good person. No, nope. I'm probably a bigger sinner than most of you guys. But the difference is I put my faith in Jesus Christ. I know that all my sins are forgiven, that when I die, I'm going to heaven. Do you have that assurance? Do you have that assurance that when you die, you're going to go to heaven? Are you sure? If you're sure, how can you back that up? Well, I was a Catholic. I was Jewish. I was a Muslim. I was a pretty good person. I never hurt anybody. I helped the homeless. Well, see, that's not going to get you into heaven. That's not going to forgive you of your sins. You know, most religions are, are works-based where I do all this good stuff that makes up for the bad stuff. You know, wishful thinking. The Bible says you could do a hundred good things. The one sin has to be erased. Remember when you were in school and you made a mistake? You got to get the eraser behind the pencil. Erase the letter or the word. Put the right letter or word. You're going to get a bad grade in school, right? It's the same with our sin. Our sin has to be erased. How? The blood of Jesus Christ. He died on the cross, shed his blood, and he rose three days later. 